Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of CS Outdoors. Today is episode two of the fly tying series. So basically what is in store for today, we will be tying a caddis fly size 12 uh, that is the olive color. And um, as y'all see, I already have the hook and the bead on there, but uh, it is the size 12 caddis hook like I stated and the bead head size is a 1 8 uh, hook it's a 1 8 hook gold color and so I've already gotten that on here um, oh, I've already gotten that on here just so y'all didn't have to watch me fidget around with it so let's get into it tying something new for the first time ever series I'm excited so as I stated our hook we today are as well are using a 140 black thread. We are using a copper wire. Hold on. Copper wire. And we are some using some rabbit dubbing olive color. So, as I said, we are tying the caddis. Let's go and get that. Once you go your two times four, three times back, you get this wire, get to about five inches. We're gonna say it's about that long. So you get about five inches. It might be a little longer than five inches. You then go and put this good we go and take that all the way down right there so now once we have that so we've got the copper wiring going right up across that we go and grab this dubbing we grab a little pinch we let it out a lot of line and supposedly you gotta turn clockwise Okay, so now we go and we'll go and wrap this copper wire around. more just to kind of go and secure it. Then we get some more line out and we once again get some dubbing. that right. 
right back around. like I was talking about in the last video, go twist your finger up and over. Uh -oh. We do that three times. So, and then we'll go and trim up some of these super tiny, just really long hairs. Just exactly like that. And then we'll go and cut the, the line. And then once again, we'll go get the, oh, sorry, the fly cement. Okay, and we'll go and put a couple drops here and there. Guys, there we have it. That is right there, the olive green, or the, just the olive caddis. What that does, that drops a little bit in the water when you have those caddis that are starting to hatch. And so that's what that's starting to look like, and that's the first one I've ever tied it. Once again, part of the uh, first ever fly tying series. So guys, I hope y'all enjoyed uh, episode two of the fly tying series. Uh, I know when looking at this, this is not the most perfect uh, caddis in the world. Definitely does not look like the picture, but it's my first one ever. I plan to improve over time uh, and get better and better at this. Um, and I think I will, and I'm excited to, glow, uh, I'm excited to grow along the way. Um, and my patience for this and uh, my knowledge and uh, my skill for fly tying. Um, I hope you all enjoyed um, just getting to walk along with me on this journey of flying ties. Hopefully this is helping you all out. If, if you all get interested in flying ties, then you all are able to watch this video and learn as well. Um, and, you know, it's pretty much about it. Like I said, these are going to be like short 7 to 10 minute long episodes. So... Uh, leave some support down below by commenting on the video um, what you want me to possibly tie next uh, also uh, you know give the video a thumbs up always appreciate it for sure this is CS Outdoors signing out